This is Chara, one of the four locations in Lower Tana Delta whose residents benefited from Water Sector Trust Fund funding with financial support from the Danish International Development Agency, Danida, under the Green Growth and Employment Program. The other locations include Kipini, Konemansa and Ozi. This funding was directed to environmental conservation activities to cushion residents of Lower Tana Delta from adverse effects of climate change, ranging from drought to decreased fish quantities from River Tana. Lower Tana Delta Conservation Trust that operates in the area implemented the 10 million Kenya shillings worth project. Hizo pesa ni kwamba tulikuwa na miradi tofauti tofauti yote yakihusishana na mambo ya uhifadhi wa mazingira kama vile upanzi wa mikoko kujaribu kufufua msitu wa ngomeni pia tukawa na mambo ya water harvesting tuliweza kununua tanke tatu za lita elfu kumi. halafu mradi mwingine ambayo tuliweza kutekeleza ni huu mradi wa clean energy hususan mambo ya biogas na chikokoa Lower Tana Delta Conservancy Trust worked with over 10,000 community members drawn from community forest associations and beach management units to restore mangroves on three acres of degraded Garga Kalge area along the banks of River Tana. Si kila mtu ana uwezo wa kujenga na block. Mara nyingi tunatumia miti. Na miti inayofaa kusimamisha nyumba vizuri ni mikoko. Na tukaona inakatwa, watu wanakata mikoko wanatumia, tukaona kuliko inakatwa ikaitu hivyo hivyo, ile inakatwa ile tunapanda. Hii mikoko pia saa nyingine upande wa maji huko kando kando samaki huwa zinakaa sana. Ni sehemu ambayo huwa wanakaa, wanazaa huko ndani. Samaki zikiwa nyingi wavuvi wanavua, watu wananunua, wanaenda kuuza wanapata pesa maisha yanasonga mbele. Tuko na azimio kama conservancy mikoko tukipanda ikiwa mingi tufanye hii biashara inaitwa carbon trading. Tuuze hewa ka tupate manufaa ili maisha ya mwananchi wa kawaida ipate kuinuka. Kusema ukweli katika uhifadhi kuna kipato ndani yake. Hatuhifadhi peke yake, tunahifadhi at the same time tunakuza maisha ya jamii. Onto the clean energy component of the project and 38 homesteads benefited from biogas kits and 320 issued with energy saving jikos. Pale kitambo tulikuwa tunatumia masaa mingi tunaenda huko msituni kukata kuni kupikia. Saa hii tumepata hiyo gesi tumenufaika haina moshi hata huko huko msituni tumeacha hiyo kwa haribu mazingara tulipepata hii jikokoa inatumia makaa matano inapika haraka kisha ida iko na moto nyingi kwa sasa tunatumia gunia moja gunia moja mwezi mmoja na nusu kuliko pale zamani tunatumia gunia moja kwa wiki mbili Lowatana Delta being an arid region experiences seasonal rains Therefore, the need to store enough water to use during dry seasons. The three 10,000 litre water tanks issued to Odole Primary, Ozi Primary and Buyani Secondary Schools came in handy as the schools used the tanks as water storage facilities, especially for kitchen and sanitation needs. This helps to keep learners in school, as Simon Orori, a teacher at Buyani Secondary, observes. There is a need of constantly having water being an institution and uh, and particularly in this time of corona where sanitation and need is an issue there is that need to constantly wash our hands before the tank maji likuwa ni kufua tuwa kutoka kwa kutoka kwa well lakini sasa after the tank pipe imekuwa connected directly to the kitchen sasa wakati tanki kuna maji ile staff ya kitchen angalau inasaidika hiyo movement wana wanapata ku concentrate in whatever they are doing there without hiyo worry ya maji it's a basket full of goodies for the residents of lower tana delta restored mangroves means restored fish breeding zones clean energy means less harm to the forest 
and more water for schools means better learning environment for learners. Langu na muhimu tu ni kuwashukuru Water Sector Trust Fund kwa huu fadhili na ninaamini hata jamii wenyewe wanaweza kuzungumza hilo kwa sababu sisi watu tunawakilisha maoni yao.